Hello everybody, I'm Brooke Gibson. And I'm Zakia Jennings. And we're here at the gubernatorial forum. And tonight we'll be hearing from Republican candidate for governor, Dan Cox, and what he has in store ahead of the midterm elections. What do you believe sets you apart from your uh, Democratic candidate? I'm sad he's not here tonight. You know, this is a historic debate. He needs to respect that. I'm sad that he decided not to do that. What sets me apart, I hope, is that I'm not bought and paid for by the corporatists and the international lobbyists and the people that have uh, stamped his campaign with lots of money. When Dan Cox took the stage, one of the most controversial questions was about his stance on critical race theory and gender identity. Sure, critical race theory is Marxism. It's a Marxist ideology that actually divides um, you know, and takes out our history. You look at gender theory, I mean, this is universally concerning because we are smart enough to love one another and to help students that are struggling with gender identity crises without brainwashing or indoctrinating the entire student body and forcing girls to have to compete in college with persons born as males. Moderators asked Cox to clarify a tweet he made where he said he was co-hosting a bus to the January 6th insurrection. Did you or did you not provide financial or logistical support to those who traveled to the January 6th riot? Absolutely not. And let me explain. First of all, it was a rally, like I said, to talk, to hear the president of the United States speak. Secondly, when I said that I was co-hosting, what they did was they said, Delegate Cox is going to ride on the bus with his kids. I bought tickets. I did do that. Some students were critical of Cox's views. I think that particularly when it, he had lied about his um, facilitation of the buses to January 6th, that worries me into what he might lie about in the future. I'm really a fan of him only because I didn't like what he said about transgender people as well. And also it didn't really make sense to me that he wanted to throw more police into the state of Maryland instead of fixing the issue. So I thought it was interesting, but me personally, I would not vote for him. Cox supporter Crystal Jenkins liked his stance on COVID closures. He fought to keep the churches open, which I was really upset that they closed the churches. For Jenkins, Kitchen table issues are more important than national issues. Hey, you can talk about January 6th till you blue in the face. That's y'all issue. My issue is the fact that I got cousins that can't get a job. This is Morgan Now.